This is going to be my winter project. It's a military radio, and those two parts do fit together into one package. Here's a closer look at the receiver, and this is the speaker and power supply. And it's this power supply that I want to modify, specifically this part right here, the filament voltage vibrator. I want to see if I can't make a solid state substitute for that vibrator. A few years ago, I did a video on this circuit, although I think I used a different MOSFET, but it's the same circuit, and it, as you can see, is rather slow, but uh, I think I can modify this circuit and maybe use it for my substitute vibrator. Here I have changed the 100 microfarad capacitors to 47, and you can see that it's a little faster. And here I have changed out a couple of resistors on each side and changed out the capacitor to a dot zero four microfarads and here you can see that it is quite fast. Here I have hooked up one side of the multivibrator which is the green trace and the yellow trace is my signal generator and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the frequency of that signal generator until I get an approximate match and that'll tell me as to where that multivibrator is running and I want about oh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 cycles and this is beginning to look pretty good right here it's pretty darn close so it looks like that multivibrator is running at about Oh, 67, somewhere in there, which is close enough. The circuit that I'm trying to substitute amounts to basically a, a buzzer with contacts. This is what both sides of that circuit looks like. Here's the next idea I'm going to try sometime in the future. I'm going to get a large audio output transformer, push-pull, and see if I can't get this circuit to work with it. Now I may have to change the wattage on the 100 and the 470 ohm resistors, and maybe even change the values also. And if I don't get good results with that, I've got uh, another idea to drive these MOSFETs using a 555 timer or maybe a junction transistor to clock a flip-flop circuit and then use the Q and not Q to drive the gates of those MOSFETs. Thanks for watching.